Hello, class. My name is Nancy Chen. Today, we'll be talking about Erickson's psychosocial theory. Erickson's theory is important because it provides a broad framework from which to able to view development throughout the entire lifespan. Before discussing the detail of psychosocial theory, I want to talk a little bit more about the development of the theory and how the theory came to its form today. Objective and goals. So at the end of the, this lecture, students will have a general understanding how Erickson's psychosocial theory. Students will learn about the development of the theory. Students will learn how Freudian theory influenced Erickson's in developing this theory. Students will learn that psychosocial theory is across the lifespan. And at the end of a lecture, students will be doing an exercise where students will be able to describe their self-identity in a perspective to the society. Before we dive into the theory, we must discuss a little bit about Erickson's personal background because it plays an important role in developing the theory. Erickson was born in Frankfurt, Germany in 1902. He was raised by his mother and his stepfather. Erickson's mother shielded him from the fact that the man who raised him was not his biological father. When he discovered that information, he became confused with his identity. His early experience sparked his interest in formation of identity. With the influence from Freud, some people would describe psychosocial theory as a post-Freudian theory. Erickson was teaching at a school where he met Anna Freud, who was a daughter of the Sigmund Freud, who introduced him to psychoanalysis. Anna Freud encouraged him to formally study psychoanalysis, so he studied psychoanalysis at Vienna Psychoanalytic Institute in Austria. Simultaneously, he studied Montessori method of education, which focused on child development and sexual stages. Erickson then moved to the United States in 1933, and he became the first child ana child's analyst and obtained a position at Harvard Medical School without a college degree. The development of the theory. So Erickson accepted the basic notion of the 40-year theory and recognizing that the importance of con unconscious and conscious mind. He also recognized the psychological stages and psychoanalytic methodology from the 40-year theory. Erickson's four stages, the first four stages of psychosocial theory corresponds to Freud's uh, oral, anal, phallic, and latency phases, respectively. Erickson expanded on the Freud theory and recognized that the developmental theory should cover the entire lifespan, whereas Freud's theory stops at adolescence. Erickson's theory is also more encompassing than reaching a larger population, rather than a very confined psychoanalytic structure. Erickson's theory describes eight life stages that a healthy developing individual should pass through from infancy to adulthood. Psychosocial theory talks about that maturation at each life stage brings in new skills that open up new possibility for a child and also increase social demands. Erickson talks about how society has evolved in a general understanding of meeting children's need at every stage of maturation. Erickson talks about how adults' needs for caretaking coincides with children's life in a community of life cycle. The culture would adapt itself to meet the children's need. In other words, Erickson believes that life stages are linear for individual, but circular for soci societal development. Erickson also stated that mastery of each stage is not required to advance to the next stage. However, not successfully completing one stage may be expected to return as a problem in the future. 
In contrast to Freud's theory on how people defend themselves from an unpleasant experience in the past, Erickson focused on a positive approach. Erickson believes that identity is maintaining an inner solidarity and finding acceptance for oneself and one society. Erickson's theory heavily focused on the identity of oneself and also in the society. follow a general timetable for development. Within the general time limits, the society exercises influence on development of the individual. For example, Erickson observed the Seuss, a Native American group that allowing nursing for their children for several years. Parents will hit their teething male babies on the head for biting mother's nipples in believes that crying rage would turn into good hunter. They also train their girls to be bashful, to be pre to be better prepared for serving their hunter husband. Erickson believed that culture will change over time, and changes will be made to what children need within their time. In contrast to Freud's theory about tension reduction and finding e equilibrium, Erickson really sees that the development as a solving conflict from opposing forces. Once the issue is resolved, then the child will continue on to the next stage. We will explain in details about each life stage at the next lecture. But this lecture will give you just a general overview on how the theory was developed. Grant's found his use and as an American immigrant. Erickson really finds that identity, identity plays an important role in developing psychosocial theory. For the discussion exercise, I want you to describe yourself and describe your identity. How would you describe yourself as an individual? Does your identity describe a specific role? And how does that role place in the society? How does that role affect children in your life? For example, are you a parent? Are you an educator? And how does your role place an effect on your children around you? I want to know a little bit more about how do you think about yourself and how would you describe yourself? How does your role influence the development of children around you? Please write a discussion point, a discussion post on this topic, and share your experience with your colleagues. Thank you so much for watching lecture, and please let me know what you think.